I guarantee you that at the end of this video, you will know the proper workflow to grow your own VGs. Yes, I'm 99% sure that you got everything at home to grow some nice fruits and vegetables. You just have to know the process. Let's go. Hi guys, I'm Jonathan from my vegan permaculture world. Well, growing your own fruits and vegetables is more easy than you think, but we have been used to pick them up at the market and now we don't have a single idea of how it's produced. Since industrialization, there has been a disconnection between us and our food. And now, we tend to think that growing fruits and vegetables is difficult, only meant for farmers. Well, no. I was thinking same for too many years, and I was wrong. Are you guys ready for the basics? Come with me. Grab any fruits or vegetables you have in your fridge, tomatoes, eggplants, bell peppers, anything. Cut them up nicely and collect the seeds. Wow, this is looking so juicy. <laughs> okay guys, I'm hungry now, shall we do a recipe video instead? Okay, once you've collected the seeds, put them in a lid and let them dry in the sun. And in the meantime, don't throw away your toilet paper rolls. They can be recycled into small nursery pots. After a few days, the seeds should be dry enough to be planted. Here I'm using potting soil to fill the pots, but any soil should work as long as there's no pebbles to prevent germination. Water thoroughly and place them in the sunlight. After a few days, some seeds will germinate. Keep only the plants which look healthy. I usually wait for four leaves to grow before transplantation in a bigger pot or out in the garden. Do not remove them from the toilet paper roll pots. These are carbonate materials which will feed the soil life. From time to time, add a handful of compost made of kitchen scraps and organic materials from the garden. If you want to know how to do your own compost, hit the subscribe button as I will be covering this topic soon. After a few months, you will have the satisfying experience of picking up your own grown fruits and vegetables. And once you are used to this process, you can buy seeds from a garden center along with a bigger seedling tray. If you have other techniques of how you grow your own veggies, please tell me in the comment. And if you missed my previous video on my vegan permaculture farm, I will add a link in the description. Guys, if you enjoyed the video and it was helpful for you, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to be informed of future uploads. And don't forget. Every day that passes where we don't plant puts us one day further away from the harvest.